you can be a teacher and still have autonomy over your life, still not be controlled by other people and still better yourself every day. How are we? If you're new here, I'm a psychology student trained to be a therapist. So on this channel, we talk about positivity, well-being, mindset, mental health, and all things like that. So if that sounds of interest, stick around. Excuse the Larry shirt. I didn't get dressed in the dark, which is having a massive heat wave here in the UK. And frankly, I was a few degrees away from doing this video with my kit off, which might attract a new audience, but probably not the new audience I want. So if this channel fails, maybe only fans after that. Today I wanted to do a slightly different video sort of about looking at your career. This one's mostly aimed towards maybe slightly younger guys, younger than me. I'm 26, I know I don't look it, I don't age, I think I actually age backwards and I can't grow a beard. But yeah, I'm looking at the guys that are maybe sort of 22, 21 and maybe even younger than that. The reason I wanted to make this video, I was just listening to it, as I do, is listen to a couple of podcasts earlier, a bit of Chris Williamson, a bit of Caleb Jones and people like that. And... There's this huge thing at the moment, and it, I don't re really remember where it, sort of where it started or where it came from. I think it maybe started during the lockdowns, but the last sort of year or two with Tate and people like that has really kicked off, and it's this idea of sort of escaping the matrix and being your own boss and everything like that. And I sort of, I think it's an important issue, especially for younger men that are maybe starting their careers and don't know where they're going. And I, I wanted to weigh in on the issue with my opinions, basically. Look, in theory. Being your own boss, having your own business, earning loads of money, location independence, everything like that, all sounds amazing in theory. And of course it is. Like If we could all click our fingers tomorrow and have that, I'm sure most of us would. But the reality is, that's not necessarily how the world works, and that type of lifestyle isn't necessarily right for everyone. And I'm worried that a lot of channels in this community, this sort of self-development community and high performance and everything like that, sort of really maybe, not necessarily looks down, but maybe doesn't cater to the people who don't want to live that way, who want to live a different type of lifestyle. My personal belief is, as long as you do it the right way, with the right company and everything like that, I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with saying my life ambition is to get a 40 grand, 50 grand a year job, depending on where you live, can lets me afford having two kids, going on holiday every year, house and a car each. If that's what you want, that for me, that, that was my parents. That That's a lot of people that I'm sort of friends with and related to and stuff like that. Uh, my brother's certainly like that. My parents were certainly like that. That was all they ever wanted. Both my parents are teachers. They uh, still are. Um, all they've ever wanted was just house, family, couple holidays a year, like, not on the poverty line, but not driving Bugattis either. And that's sort of the in-between that they found. Like I said, the reason I wanted to make this video is I don't think that message is given to sort of younger men as, as often as it should be. Now, don't get me wrong, I'll talk about later the type of sort of normal jobs you want and jobs you don't want. And obviously, if you are sat in a job that makes you absolutely miserable with no career prospects, your boss is horrible, you don't like anyone you work with, that's a completely different story and we'll talk about that later. That's not what I'm talking about. But what I'm talking about is not not everyone can be millionaires and billionaires with their own companies and driving fancy cars and everything like that. To make the world go round, you need normal people. You need teachers, nurses, doctors, bin men, you, uh, police officers. Like You need just these normal day-to-day -day people. Otherwise, society literally falls apart. And I'm worried that a lot of young men maybe watch channels like sort of Chris Williamson and maybe Die of a CEO and, and, and all those other people and they think there's something wrong with not wanting to do those kind of jobs. I'm in a group chat from um, Jack Hopkins uh, who's CEO of Testosterone. I'm in his sort of like program group chat kind of thing and there's lads in there that are sort of 13, 14, 15, 16 talking about how do I start a business, how do I escape the matrix and as some of the older guys like me and, and some of the other guys are sort of sitting there going well buddy like you have no life experience, you're, you're not in a matrix to escape and we don't say that to discourage them, there's nothing wrong with being ambitious and wanting to start your own business, obviously that's sort of where I'm at in life but I have gone through over a decade basically of crappy jobs that have shaped me into the person I am and have taken me down a road that I now know what I want to do with my life. If you're someone under the age of 18, 
my honest advice would be just get out there and get any job you can while you're still at school get a saturday job an after school job clean dishes sweep the floor in a barber work in a bakery whatever you can one i talked about this in my last video in terms of earning money that sense of independence is something that is just you will never get a feeling like it when you start to earn your own money two it will teach you the type of environment you do like being in don't like being in and everything like that and three it teaches you so many life skills having normal jobs having to interact with the public be at work on time all things like that they teach you so many vital life skills that starting your own business at the age of all 14 can never teach you now if you get into your late teens and you're looking for something there's sort of a multitude of ways you can go down so one obviously the type of company you want to work for if you're someone who maybe plans to move abroad in future or something like that, maybe working for a massive corporation is something you want to do. I'm very lucky. I've worked from everything from the largest HR company on the planet, the largest privately owned insurance company on the planet, all the way down to a startup with, I think, seven people in it. So I've sort of done both sides of things. And working in the large conglomerates, yeah, you can get lost in things and everything like that. We'll talk about that in a minute. And I'm never one to deride for capitalism or anything like that. And I don't want you to be in a company where your efforts aren't appreciated. But the, some of the companies I've worked with, I've had offices in Australia, Malaysia, Austin, New York, San Francisco, all over Europe, basically any capital in the world, maybe down in South Africa, things like that. So if I'd have worked there, done a good job and been recognized, and then maybe put in a transfer if other offices had start to come available. If you've got a good reputation within your company, you could end up getting moved to your dream city with them paying for your flights, accommodation, and sponsoring your visa. So those can be amazing opportunities. On the flip side, you've got the smaller startup vibe. Now, if you get into a great company very early and you grow with it, one, it makes you very, very non-expendable. I can't remember what the word is for that, but yeah, a vital part of it, basically, you grow with the company. Two, that gives you a chance to get equity in the company, possibly, it teaches you so many lessons about business, you're watching the company grow from within, and because it's a small company, it's often all hands on deck, so you're going to get loads of experience, sort of, throughout different, like, areas and things like that you might be hr finance whatever just whatever needs doing because it's such a small company you might just have to try your hand at anything and three the startup world is where you are going to meet some of the most interesting people you will ever meet some of the business ideas that come up with the networking opportunities that come from these things are absolutely incredible now obviously everything i've said there's sort of more the business side of things but the main thing that i would say to any of you young men who are going I, I don't want my own business I, I don't think the nine to five is a prison but I want to find the right sort of thing salary is obviously important location all those important things but I read an article on this once and for me personally it's the truest thing I've ever read basically what makes your career is not often your first job it's your first boss I was incredibly lucky that in my first two jobs I had a boss in each of them who genuinely cared about my personal development. They weren't just numbers people in it for the company. They didn't just treat me like a commodity or treat me like an asset. They didn't just throw me under a bus or anything like that. They genuinely brought me in with the intention to make me grow better in that job, in that role, as a person and as a professional. Again, on the flip side, I've been in jobs where my boss couldn't give a monkeys about me. It, I was just someone there to pick up their stuff or if I had a problem or if I wasn't enjoying it they made it very clear that they could just replace me that they had no interest in how well I get on so honestly I could even say a boss we don't look at it as a boss look at it as a mentor basically is what you want to do that can be worth five to ten grand on your salary honestly if I got offered a job at 40k with in a massive company where I was just a number and there was no development against 30k where I was working under someone who was really successful, really engaging, really interesting and spoke to me about the plan of how they wanted to help me and make me grow as well. I'm taking that 30k job every day of the week. To circle back on what we touched on earlier about starting your own businesses and why we'd never discourage anyone and stuff like that. What I'd say is there, there is nothing wrong with, if you are going to university and trained to be a teacher or doing a medical degree or midwifery or nursing or something, and you want to be a teacher, police officer, whatever, there is absolutely nothing wrong with doing that 
and having a little something on the side? Of course not. It could be anything. You could sell cupcakes on Instagram or something like that. Starting a business, again, will teach you some of the most amazing life lessons you'll ever learn. Me being boring, I actually listened to an interview with, a, with the police officer in the UK who had the best arrest record or something like that. And he said his advice to anyone in the public sector would be start a business and then go into public sector work or start a business along the side. Because the lesson he learned doing that taught him how to present himself and act in the other jobs. In terms of a message I'd leave you with, the three things that I will always preach on this channel is independence, autonomy, and self-growth. I don't care what you do, what job you have, who you do it with, anything like that, as long as you are someone who are, is independent and in control of your own life, as well as always trying to grow yourself. Those are the most important things. You can be a teacher and still have autonomy over your life, still not be controlled by other people and still better yourself every day. You don't need to be a sole enterprise and business owner to do those things. Thank you for making it all the way to the end. I do appreciate you guys who stick around. I know this video may have seemed slightly different, but again, like the ones that I did the last couple of weeks, I know they're maybe different topics, but I always try to approach them from the well-being mindset, self-development point of view. I, this isn't a business channel, this isn't a finance channel, anything like that. It's about where your head's at when you go in to do these things. So if you like the video, please do consider liking and subscribing. I do two videos every week. As always, comment any other thoughts below and I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care lads.